the best number to reach me on. Okay, and then we're authorized to call you on the cell phone. Who authorized that? So I'm asking, are we authorized to call you on the cell phone? You just called me on that phone. Yeah, but I'm saying for the future. It's kind of silly to ask me to authorize it after you called me. No, but... Who authorized this phone call? We're able to call you, but if you don't want us to, I mean, if you don't want us to, basically we can call you on this phone, but you're authorizing us to, that this is a phone that we can call you on all the time. What, like any time? Like three in the morning? Uh, no, no. Easter Sunday? To, no, you can't call me all the time. It would still have to be in the, it would still have to be between the hours that we're able to call you, but... That's the phone that we're offering to call you. Well, honey, you called me on it. Okay. Well, all right. I can change it. I mean, we still can call you. It would be that we could call you on the dialer is what it would be. It would go on our system if you authorize it. If not, we'll just have to call you. We can still call you. But... So if I authorize it, you'll call me. And if I don't authorize it, you're going to call me. Well, you would authorize us to put it just break to be called in our dialer system. Would it be authorized for? But if not, we would just call you manually. Yeah. So if I authorize it, a robot calls me. No, not, I mean not necessarily. But the more importantly, I can get it to where. Well, let's talk about how I can get it to where you don't get any more calls, and then that's really not even anything. I think about. that's what we should talk about. Do you guys call it a lot? I have an outstanding balance of $341.08, okay? Are we able to clear that up with a check over the phone and you would not get any more phone calls? Yeah, go ahead. Send the check. No, I'm not sending you a check. Are you able Don't to send me a check. Balance? Send American Express the check. They're the ones who want it. I'm unsure of what you're saying. You're talking with me. I'm talking with you, sir. Yeah. I haven't American even authorized Express. American Express to call me. What? How can I be speaking to American Express? We just authorized them. So we spoke to you before on the number. I, I don't understand why you're so hung up on that who's, part of it. Who's we? Are you able to... You are on the phone right now. Am I on speakerphone? Am I on speakerphone? Hello? Hello? Yeah, are you able to clear up your balance with a check over the phone? First, I need to know how many people are listening to this phone call right now because you just said me a bunch of times. Am I on speakerphone? I meant me as an American expert. No, I told you before the call may be monitored or required for quality insurance for I'm the only person We as in American Express what I mean by we. The Royal We. We American Express. I see. That's okay. Are you able to pay off the balance that is outstanding? What balance are we talking about? Okay. As far as American Express card that you opened in 2007, and it was closed in April of last year, and we're just trying to collect the remaining balance of the $341.08. I see. So, uh, the account in question, allegedly, was closed in 2010. Correct. And there was a remaining balance that was left. That's do do you have a calendar in front of you? Do you have a calendar? Do you have a calendar in front of you? Sunday, do you have a calendar? Account for forty percent of the balance. If you want to do it that way, I mean. Are you asking me if I want to pay one hundred percent or forty percent? No, I'm saying that that's your option. Is they're willing to settle the account? If you want to go that route, you can certainly do that. Why would I want to go a different route? What? If, what? What would my other option be? Paying 100%? That's ridiculous. Why would I pay 
If you're offering me 40%. Okay, because you're because the reason to be explained, you're either going to pay the full balance, which would be 341.08, or if you take a settlement, then you can pay for 40%, which would be 136.43. But by taking the settlement, it's going to update and um, report as settled in full as opposed to paid in full. So you're not going to get... It'll be done at the 40%. You won't owe any more money, but it would update as settled in full as opposed to paid in full. That would be the difference. So, yes, you can pay 40%, but... Hey, you what, wanna, what's your name? What? Your name, what's your name? John. John. Taylor? John. Do you, do you have a calendar in front of you, John? I do. Okay, what's the year on the calendar right now? What kind of calendar do you have? Uh, there should be a year on it. What, what's the year yeah, on the calendar? I understand what year it is. I don't need a calendar for that. Okay. Well, because uh, what the, what year is it, John? I just need to know that you know the year. Ma'am, let's get to the point. What just answer to the question, what? John. It's real easy. Two, what? 2000. <laughs> 2011. That's right, John. And when did the account close? No, I don't. That doesn't make any sense because it doesn't matter when the account closed. I was just letting you know. You still hold the balance. It doesn't mean. How can there be a balance on an account that's been closed for over a year, John? It was closed because of not. I mean, they 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 closed. Who's they? American Express. John, I'm really not, I'm feeling an attitude from you right now, and I'm not appreciating it because you called me up, and you're talking no, all sorts of crazy stuff. Attitude, but I'm trying to explain things to you, and you're trying to go over what year it is, and I don't, and you're trying to ask questions about the year. Oh, cool. so you can call me up, but I can't ask any questions, just pay you money? I no, can't you ask can a question ask about it? I'm going to get a bunch of attitude from you because I'm asking questions about you calling me up, asking me for 300 God knows how many dollars? Because it's an outstanding balance, you I, I don't have a problem with you asking me questions. It's just when you're asking, you know, questions about, like, what year it is, I understand what year it is. I, that's not a very, that's, I don't know. I, I just was curious because uh, you threw out some years earlier and none of them are this year. Okay, I don't understand. I think you're confused. But I am confused, John. I was minding my own business, and I got a call from a number I don't know, and then all of a sudden you're asking me for money and telling me I can't ask any questions about it. No, I never said that. You can certainly ask as many questions as you want, but... But I'll get a bunch of attitude from you if I do. What's that? Well, I did ask questions, and I got a ton of attitude. I'm just asking, you no, know, I'm not cool if I ask questions, that. or... No, I apologize. I'm not... It's just you asked that question of what the year was and to look at my calendar and I... Well, I was confused, I, John. I, I wasn't sure you knew what year it was. Okay, well, you can ask me questions, but let's discuss how you want to take care of your outstanding balance. So That's you're giving me the question. option I can either pay you 341 or 100 and something. 136.43 is what they're offering to clear up the balance if you want to do it that way. I'm just letting you know if you're off. Well, if I was going to agree to this, why would I agree to paying more? I don't understand. Because it'll update on your credit report as paid in full if you pay the full balance. If you don't pay the full balance, it'll still update on your credit report, but it'll update as satisfied in full or settled in full. So it'll show on your credit report that you did pay back the full balance that was outstanding. So it would be, I mean, depending on what, I mean, if you don't care about your credit report, then you, know, you might as well just pay the 40%. Then. But I'm just letting you know of that's the difference. I see, John. Well, I don't know if I really trust this phone call because you started off asking for one number, now you're asking for another number. Are you playing hardball with me? Hardball? I, I don't. No, I'm just letting you. Are know you going to throw another watch. offer on the table? No, I'm out. I don't understand. Hardball. I, I'm, Since we're negotiating balance, here, John, how about I pay you guys nothing? Three hundred forty-one dollars and eight cents. 
Okay, but they're willing to. We are willing that American Express to settle this balance for forty percent. All right. Well, let me uh, let me throw out a uh, counter offer. I'm going to pay zero percent. And uh, you can stop harassing me on this phone. I am not authorizing you to call me back. Understand? Not authorized. Okay, not authorized. Not authorized. Okay, ma'am. I don't understand what you're saying anymore. Like, I don't. You're, but let me just make sure. Not you're not going to pay this back. No, not authorized. Not authorized. What? Not authorized. I'm going to end the call now because I don't. This isn't going anywhere. God, you are not authorized to end I'll this call. I'll you at another time. Not okay. authorized, John. Have a wonderful God. day. Thank you for calling America. Not authorized. Not authorized. Okay. Ha, 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 ha.